How to make an easy fully automatic concrete maker in Minecraft. These are the resources you will need for this farm. Okay, so the first step to this concrete maker will be to place yourself two blocks. Then place a piston on the back block. Then you will need to place a block under the piston and then a block right here. Then you will have to look at this block and place a staircase like this. Then you will have to waterlock the staircase and after you waterlock it, the water should flow out. Then you will have to place a lever on top of this block and flick it and then the piston will go out and it will stop the water. Then after you've done that, you will need to make a hopper clock using observers behind the piston. So first you'll place an observer right here. Then look at this observer and place another observer looking towards this piston. Then if you turn this off, the piston will start going back and forth. Anyways, then you can turn this back on. Then you will have to place 12 pistons going out from the two blocks we have right here. So piston right here and then 11 more pistons facing the same way. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then you will have to go one block to the right, one block back, place an observer right here with the little face looking outwards. Then you will have to place two red sun dust going out from this observer, two going back, then place a repeater right here and flick it onto two ticks. Then place a repeater right here, leave this empty. Then place 13 red sun dusts going from this repeater and then pretty much to the end of the piston line. Like this. So now we can test this out by placing a block right here. And if you place a block right here and the pistons go outwards, then you have done this correctly. So anyways, now the first part of the farm is done. And now I'm going to show you how to expand this using the extra resources that I showed you in, in the material list. Now you do not need to add this, but I would highly recommend this because this will make this a lot better. Because you will have space for a lot more concrete. So anyways, after you've done that, head to this observer right here and then going down way so pretty much the same way the pistons are facing go 11 blocks down so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 then mark this 11th block with a temporary block then after you've done that you will need to place an observer right here with the little red sun eye looking away and the little face looking kind of inwards the same way the pistons are so pretty much the same you did over there then you will need to place two reds on dust going out from this place two to the left side then place a repeater right here, place it on two ticks, place another repeater right here, leave it on zero ticks. Then place two reds on dust going out here, then you will have to break this block into the ground that's pretty much to the right of the second reds on dust. And then you will need to dig 11 more blocks to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then dig this one more in, so pretty much one more into the same way where the other pistons are like this and then you will need to place 12 pistons on the inside right here then you will have to connect up all of these pistons with redstone so now we can test this out by placing a block in front of here this should go up once boom like this and like this. Then after you've done that, you will need to place a temporary block on top of this red and dust right here. Then place a piston right here. Then expand this piston by 11 more pistons going out to the right. So this piston line should pretty much end at the same location where we have the last piston right here. Then after you've done that, you will need to place 9 more pistons going straight up right here. And you will have to do that on all of these pistons. So pretty much 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then do this on all of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So anyways, then after you've done that, you should have something looking like this. So what you will need to do now is head to the same side as we have the little redstone contraption under here. Then you will need to place a temporary block right here. Then place an observer right here. This observer should have the little face looking towards where the pistons are. Then after you've done that, you will need to place two blocks under here. Expand this by two blocks going outwards. Then place two more blocks right here. So now you should have something like this. Then place two redstone dust right here. Two here. Place a repeater right here. Place it on two tick. Another repeater right here, leave that on one tick. Then after you've done that, you will need to place a glass block right here. So pretty much in front of the block that has the repeater on it. Then you will need to place 12 blocks right behind the pistons. These need to be solid and hard blocks. Then go two blocks down, one, two. Place another row of 12 blocks. Do the same right here, one, two blocks. One, two blocks. And then one last time at the bottom, blocks like this. And again, remember these has to be solid blocks. Then you will have to place reds on dusts on top of all of these blocks like this. Then after you've done this, you will need to go at the bottom right here, build two glass going out right here, do the same right here, then link up this glass, so now you should have something looking like this, do the same right above it, and then a third time, like this. Then you will have to place two reds and dusts on the left side of the glass, place a repeater right here, then place another reds and dust right here, but do not place anything right here. Then do the same on the ones at the bottom, two reds and dust right here, repeater, reds and dust, two reds and dust, repeater, and then one reds and dust. Then after you've done that, you will need to place a glass block going out from the reds and dust we have right here, do the same right above it, and then a third time right here. Then you will need to place red and dust on top of all of these glass blocks. Then after you've done that, you will need to place a temporary block under the glass block we placed on the top right here, place a glass block going out from that block, then place another glass block under that block, then destroy that temporary block, then place a red and dust right here, and another one right here. So now if we head on top of here and place a block in front of this observer, most of the pistons should go forward, at least the top four, as they are doing. 
then you will need to head behind here again and then place a glass block right here going out from this glass block we have right here then place a redstone dust right here also this redstone dust should not link up with what we have right here that is very important so now if we head back up here we can place another block right here in front of the observer and all the pistons should go forward as they are and if all the pistons are doing that then we have built this correctly and we are finally done so all we have to do now to get this to work is to head down here flick off this lever and now the piston will start going back and forth and then you will need to start placing concrete right here now placing concrete inside this little room might be hard sometimes so i'm going to show you one way to do this a bit quicker and that is to place two blocks right here then turn off the lever and then just place a big row of concrete going up in the air as i'm doing right now then head back down here flick off this lever again and then the concrete will start getting pushed forward and turning into concrete powder or sorry hard concrete i mean but of course doing it this way sometimes the concrete will drop onto the ground and break but it won't happen always and as you see right here sometimes the powder will stay powder and not turn into concrete but that might depend on how laggy the game is and how many chunks are rendering and stuff like that and entities simply because the water doesn't load fast enough to you know hit the concrete but anyways now that this is over you can simply just place some more blocks right there you can go as high as you want head back down turn on the lever and this will start turning into more concrete so now the concrete is about to reach the end so if we just place some blocks said just to help it out one more boom this gets pushed forward and as you might have seen whenever the concrete reached right here it got pushed upwards because of this observer right there so if i dig myself into here and place more concrete here just to show you the demonstration place it here and reach all the way at the end we're gonna jump out of here place a concrete right here this gets pushed upwards and pretty much how this will work is that whenever the concrete reaches the top right here which is what i'm gonna show you now so now we just have to place a couple more concrete right here this should reach the end this should be pushed up and after this is pushed up at this wall pretty much and hits this observer right there it gets pushed forward as it has right now just stand afk have an auto clicker on or whatever you want and pretty much just have a bunch of concrete powder being you know placed into here go forward reach right here be pushed forward reach right here and then be pushed up reach right here and then be pushed outwards and at the end you will have a big cube right here filled with so much concrete that you can ever dream of so yeah that is pretty much how you make an easy automatic hard concrete maker so uh, yeah anyways that was it for this one so so anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.